Welcome to Pies Around the House. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mix render by hand. I'll show you the mix I use for the scratch coat, the mix I use for the final coat, and I'll show you the tools I use to mix the render. So first of all, let's discuss the mix. Now my go-to mix always starts the same. For my scratch coat, I use one part Portland cement to four parts sand to half part hydrated lime. For my final coat, I use one part Portland cement to five parts sand to one part hydrated lime. And the reason I add the lime is to make the mix more workable, but more importantly, more flexible. And this helps prevent the render from cracking if the wall you're rendering onto has any movement in the future. I also like to make the second coat slightly weaker by adding a bit more sand and a bit more hydrated lime. This further helps to prevent the render from cracking in the future. And for the sand, I like to use building sand. I like the way it mixes, and I've never had an issue with this before. However, some people say this is a big no-no, and you should be using plastering sand. So I'd be interested in your thoughts in the comments section below. According to what surface I'm rendering onto, sometimes I like to add a product called SBR to my mix, and I sometimes brush this onto the wall before I start rendering. And this is the product I like to use here. But that's a discussion for another video, and for the purpose of this video, we're going to stick to a basic cement, sand, and lime render. So the tools you're going to need for this job are a bucket for measuring your materials, a tub for carrying the mixed render, a bucket trowel and a spade for mixing your render, and a wheelbarrow. I'm going to use a bucket to measure out my units. So by using one bucket full or half bucket full, I can get my ratios. Remember, we're just doing a scratch coat here, so the mix I'm doing is one Portland cement to four building sand to half hydrated lime. So here we go, that's my cement. Because of the ratios, I can now work out that because I used half a bucket of cement, I can just do two full buckets of sand. You can see finally then I just put quarter of a bucket of lime. So that gives me the ratios. I'm gonna mix this up dry now, get it all together, then we'll start to add the water and get it down to a nice creamy workable texture. So if you look at that, it looks a touch wet. Now, that's partly where I'm hand mixing it. All the water's sort of rising to the top, so you can mix that in a bit in the bowl now. The other thing is I have done it ever so slightly too wet, because I know I've got to get this into the tubs now, up into the loft. I'm going to give the wheelbarrow a quick wash, because I think it's about to rain, so I want to put that away. Give me a chance to get up and then get it on the wall. So it will start to dry out a touch. If I do a really dry mix now, by the time I get up there, it's going to be really hard to get on the wall. And here you can see me using that mix to render my chimney, and I'll show you how to do that in another video. A link to that video will pop up on the screen now, and I'll put a link to that video in the description section below. So hopefully you'll find the video useful. I'll put links to all the tools you need in the description section below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon for regular notifications. I've been Pies Around the House. Ta-ta! Farewell! <laughs>